Hi, everybody. Hello. How's everybody doing? Thank you, Sharon. Yes, I can get y'all to hit them thumbs up. That would be fantastical. Let me see here. Hold on. Okay, so let's see who we got. We got Sharon. We got Carmen. Hi, Rita Berry. Arlene Young, hello. 255 Apple. Hi, Debbie and sweet darling Lulu. And Chris Martin. Oh, hi, Terry. Carol, how are you? Hi, Terry Solaris. <laughs> and Carol Gallagher. Hi, Renee. Sandra Lee, Cheryl Tyler, Mary Lou, hi. Who are you? Annie or Ann Hart. I have not made zucchini brownies yet. The others, um, the other summer squash are still growing out there. I have a ton of cherry tomatoes. I'm just waiting for them to continue to grow and then ripen. Um, but our weather has not been warm. It's been like in the 70s. So I don't know if the weather has warmed up enough for them to start um, ripening, you know. So it, I think I still got maybe about a month for the tomatoes to continue to grow. And then from there, about another few weeks for them to start ripening. So wish me luck. <laughs> Let's see here. Hi, Amy Lee and Marby. Cecile, Virginia Bird. Hello, Sandra. Patrice, hello. Hi, CG, my friend. How are you? Rolanda Baker. Oh, I said hi. Hi, Freda. Cherry tomatoes. Yes, Renee, I'm, I'm excited. I'm over there like checking on them every day as if that's going to make them go any faster. You know, it's like they're going to do what they want to do. <laughs> so just checking. And then I told you guys that like about a week or so ago, just randomly out of nowhere, um, we got a serious thunderstorm in the middle of the night that woke me up like around four ish, five o'clock in the morning. And it was a straight up torrential downpour with thunder and lightning. And usually when it rains here, it only rains. It does not rain that heavy, um, during the summer here at all. That's usually in the winter. And it doesn't last that long, but it lasted for hours and it was a torrential downpour. And earlier that day, I had checked the weather and it, there was no rain or anything in the forecast. So I watered all of my plants. Well, <laughs> the rain came and um, it completely overwatered everything. So I went out there a few days ago and trimmed a bunch of... Um, leaves and, and little branches and stuff off of my tomato plants because they, they turned all like yellow and were falling off because they got overwatered from the rains that wasn't even on the forecast. So it's like that rainstorm showed up out of nowhere, but they, the plant seems to be doing good. It just got a little bit of a haircut because, um, <laughs> unexpected rainfall that was not in the forecast. So so yeah, that happened in Arizona last night, Terry. Was it in the forecast? Because I checked the Doppler and everything. It was like, no, clear, you know, with a high of like 72 and then boom, out of nowhere at nighttime. It wasn't in the forecast either, Terry. See, I'm telling you. <laughs> yes, I, Mary Lou, yes, I am pulling the suckers off. I did. Um, I've been quite vigilant about that. And especially after I had to give them all um, a little bit of a haircut because a bunch of the leaves had turned like bright yellow and they were wilting and falling because of just they just got drenched in the rain. Oh, Rolanda saying that she got rain in Tucson. Let me see. Oh, I can, Linda? I didn't know that. I've just been just sort of plucking them off and just tossing them. <laughs> Are there bites on the leaves? No, 
no, Mary, I, I don't have any bites. It doesn't look like anything's been eating the plants, the tomato plants at all. So. Oh, you're kidding me, Charles. He brought an AR-15 on a plane? Linda, it is reflections of my shadow, but she doesn't do um, she doesn't do readings. Oh, aphids? No, no, Mary. Um, actually, as a matter of fact, I had aphids on one of my um night blooming jasmine plants. And when the storms came, it was it, the, the storm was so bad it knocked it all off, and the plants thriving now. Like those little white things aren't on there anymore. And you know how like when there's an aphid infestation, the, the the leaves can curl up and bunch up and they just they just look sick. It's all gone. So that's how heavy it rained. It just washed all that stuff away. So your dad would take ash from the fireplace. Oh, okay. I just went to Starbucks um, last week and um, at the store, they have the bags, the huge bags of uh, used up coffee grounds for you to take for free. So I snagged one. Um, and I was planning to use that because um, I got to plant some other stuff probably sometime this week. Um, and I would use, I was planning on using the coffee grinds in there for the nitrogen and everything. So that was really cool. So if you guys, you know, are looking for coffee grinds, um, Starbucks, at least the one um, that I went to, um, I've seen huge, they're over one pound, huge, huge bags of uh, used up coffee grinds. And it says free. So you don't pay for it. It just, it's a big silver bag and it just says free. Oh, it does, Mary Lou. I've never tried it. So I'm going to, this is going to be the first time I've tried the um, the coffee grinds. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. Um, oh, hi, Cynthia. The, you know what? I was just going to say my, my whole, hey, JLo, how are you? Um, I was just going to say cucumbers, total bust, absolute bust. They stayed itty bitty about this big. I could not get them to grow um, past the first true leaf and then, and then it stayed that tiny, flowered, and then died. So I don't know if it's the variety because I was trying to grow the um, the bush cucumbers um, so I don't know if it was the variety or if I'm doing something wrong with the soil or if it's too cool over here or it has been too cool. So I really need to troubleshoot that because I it sprouted. It got one true leaf on it. It stayed tiny, 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 made a flower and then died. <laughs> um, so I, I screwed that up big time. I was like, uh oh, <laughs> I killed it. <laughs> oh, really, Linda? I, I don't know. I didn't know that um, she's a knitter. Oh, you're getting cucumbers on yours, Pat? Yeah, I yeah, my my experiment with growing them from seed was a total bust. I got the um let me see. I got the cucumbers to go or I'm sorry, the squash and the tomatoes. Um the corn, I planted corn cuz I was like, plant all the things. It sprouted, it grew about this big, and then that's it. That's all I got out of it. So I'm thinking there was not enough nitrogen in that soil because corn is essentially a grass. So it likes a lot of um, a lot of nitrogen. So I'll try that again next year. Um, perhaps tweak the soil and try to get the formula right and do that. Um, but I think I need to start planting um, my squash. Um, 
Like I want to do acorn because I love acorn squash. Hey, sunflower. How are you? Um, so I want to do some acorn squash. I know I missed the windows for, uh, for pumpkin. I wanted to grow pumpkin for Halloween, but I totally missed the window on getting that started. So I'm going to be late. Um, they should have been in the ground last month or the month before. Um, so hi, Patricia. Hello. Oh, just one second. You guys, I got something on my phone here. Oh, okay. It was just a little event thing. Yes, part two, Karen. Part two, because we didn't go over any of this. Hi, Peggy. How are you? Oh, so you got a green thumb for the indoor plants. Well, this is this is my first time trying to start a, um, a vegetable garden. So we'll see. Like I was telling everybody, Peggy, I got... I got um, tomatoes all over the place. Hopefully they'll keep growing and then ripen or otherwise it's going to be nothing but tomato plants full of <laughs> green tomatoes everywhere that are like tiny. So, oh man. Oh, well, thank you, Peggy. <laughs> thank you. So. So how's everybody doing with the um, the four corners, Carol? That just kind of helps to box in um, the the spread. Um, so the first three cards would be like the theme of the spread. The four corners will give you the um, the parameters, the outline of the spread. And then center to the reading is the heart of the spread, these four right here. So it kind of gives you guideposts on where things are at so that you don't go outside of those parameters. Does that make sense, Carol? Oh, you're growing black cherry tomatoes? Get out of here, JLo. Black cherry tomatoes. I've never heard of that. Oh, okay, Carol. Okay, thank you. I tried to grow peppers, and I don't know if it's not hot enough, but they haven't been growing much either. But I had gotten a blend that said it had purple tomatoes, like purple bell peppers. But Jayla, where did you get the seeds? Did you did you find them online or? Because I've never heard of them before. That's interesting. Yeah, any color tomato is good. Well, except except mine are all green right now. One of them fell down the other day and I was like, well, let me taste it. <laughs> so I went and I rinsed it off and I tasted, oh my God, it was the most disgusting thing in the world. It was so sour and so hard. I was like, don't do that again, <laughs> you know, so yeah, that was that was pretty gross. So hopefully they they continue to grow and ripen because otherwise it's going to be a bust. You have yes, Peggy. I got purple basil too, and it smells divine. It smells so good. And you got watermelons, carrots, and cucumbers. See, I couldn't I couldn't get my cucumbers to go at all. Oh, Sandra, I would except they're about this big. <laughs> So I wouldn't be frying much. They're like teeny tiny. They're like that big and they're hard and green. So I read about that, Laura, that you can put them in a paper bag, but it's just that they're so small right now. You know, I don't think they've reached full maturity. So, and it kind of looks like I'm, I'm, I should write it down on the calendar and start counting days and weeks because I don't know if the overwatering from when we got the thunderstorm may have stunted the growth. 
you know, because I can see the plants are still growing, but it's hard to gauge the size of the fruit, you know. Oh, Peggy, that sounds lovely. On the grill with honey? Oh, that sounds good. That sounds really good. The rosemary. Yes, I love the smell of rosemary. I love the smell of rosemary and basil. So my, my green basil that's outside, I'll go over there and just kind of like rub the leaves like that and then just smell my hands all day long because it is just, I love that scent. So I got quite a few people in here with, with green thumbs growing things. That's wonderful. <laughs> Y'all can help me out because it's like, it's like, what am I doing? Ashes is the best for cucumbers. You can get buckets full with three plants. Ashes, but I, I mean, we have a fireplace, but man, that'd be a lot of stuff to be burning in the middle of summer to get ash. Can I use ashes from like a, from a, from a barbecue? Can I use the ashes from a barbecue, Tiba? Oh, Jean, um, the, the zinnias have been attracting bees and butterflies and hummingbirds like crazy. Um, oh, you guys, I saw an owl last night. It wasn't my barn owl. It was a different sort of owl. Um, my sister and I, we went outside last night um, before she went home and down the hill below us, we heard something rummaging around and she's like, what was that? You know? But out of the corner of my eye, like in my peripheral vision, I thought I had seen something fly to the deck. But while it was flying to the deck, something was rummaging below us. And I was like, that's probably a dirt bunny, you know, like the little bunnies that like to come out at night. And I was like, hold on. So I went around the corner to look up at the deck because I know that I saw something fly up there, but it was dark, you know. And so I went and I stood and I had to get right in the right spot to look. And sure enough, there was a big, huge owl. I couldn't tell you what sort of owl it was. I know for certain that it was not a barn owl because it was very, very dark. And the barn owls, they're easy to spot because of the white on, on their underbellies and their faces. This one was really, really dark. And it didn't have those little uh, horn things on its head. Um so I, I'm not sure what sort of owl it was and I didn't have any lights on, so I couldn't see. So of course I spot the owl sitting right on the corner of my roof and I scared it off because I was trying to talk to it. I was like, hi. And then it was just, it just flew off. I was like, dang it, <laughs> you know, but it was really cool. It landed on the roof of our house, right on the corner of the roof where the staircase would go up to the deck. So that, I was very pleasantly surprised. What's let me look up barred owl. Barred owl. Hold on. B A R R E D barred owl. I mean it was very hard to tell because um it was dark and I didn't turn on the lights. Let me see. Do we have those here in California? Southern California. Let me see. Okay, it says the barred owl is a large gray, brown, and white bird with a round head and no ear tufts. Yeah, it did not have the, the little pokey things on its head. While most other owls have yellow eyes, the barred owl has brown eyes. Yeah, I didn't, I couldn't really see it, but I could see its outline. And when I talked to it, it flew away. So I know I wasn't seeing anything. I do too, Leela. <laughs> I talked to my plants. <laughs> oh, it didn't make any sounds, Deba. Oh, thank you, Sue. Well, we're glad to have you here, too. We're very glad you're here. The Oh, a deer. You had a deer in your yard, JLo. How cute. How cute. Yeah, that's the, 
that's well other than that one barn owl that landed on our deck as i was taking out the trash and it scared the shit out of me because i thought i saw a ghost because it was so 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 white in the darkness and completely silent that it scared the crap out of me um that one was right on our deck the the big deck that we used to have before we took it down and um and then the one that landed on my roof those are the two that i've the only two that i have ever seen land on our home um so yeah the barn owls are just so precious they are just absolutely their faces are shaped like little birds. you know they're so pretty kind of scary if you know the first time i saw one in person and it just scared the crap out of me because i didn't hear it coming I just happened to look up and there it was landing on the railing and it scared the shit out of me because all I saw was just stark white and all that darkness, you know? So super, super beautiful birds though. And I don't know. I think it's a, I think it's a really cool treat when you get to see one, you know, cause they're kind of like, they're kind of like unicorns. <laughs> you know what I mean? So snowy owls. Yeah. Snowy owls are beautiful, Renee. So, and everybody's doing okay with the new mask mandates and everything. Oh, okay. Tiba. Do I have to get up too early? In the, well, see, Ewat, I've noticed here that as soon as it gets to like dusk, like right now it's getting about dusk right here. There's still some light outside. It's about eight o'clock at night. Usually around this time, right before it gets absolutely dark is when, not all the time, I would have to go out and drive around the neighborhood. Um, it's when I've seen them start to come out. Um, but again, it's one of those things where you might get lucky and see one. You, you, do you see what I'm saying? It's not a guarantee that I'm going to see one every single night, you know? Um, and then I have rarely, rarely seen them at dawn or close to dawn. It's always been, um, at dusk or when it's really dark at night, um, you see them at dawn right before the sun is breaking. Yeah, I've never seen them out here like that. Um, so. Yeah, I use my mask too. <laughs> I'm going to keep my mask on forever, roses and bee. I'll be right there with you. I like it. I really, it doesn't bother me at all. It's like, cool, I get to hide my face, <laughs> you know? You've never stopped wearing yours either, Peggy. I know. I know. It's just. Yeah, no, we're just. Mm -mm. Nope. It doesn't really bother me to wear a mask. It doesn't. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't really. It's not a big deal to me, you know. So, and I, and to be quite honest, I kind of like it. <laughs> I kind of like wearing a mask, you know? Um, my mask is my best facial feature. Me too, lucky girl. Nice to see you. <laughs> That's what I like it too. It's like, yep. Oh, you have a grand horned owl that lives in the woods. Hey, John, which one is the one that goes, ooh, 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 like that? Oh, shit, Peggy. That's a horned owl, the one that goes like that. Ooh, 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 like that. <laughs> Me too, JLo. <laughs> All of them do that? Or is it, or is that called, 
or is that call specific to a horned? Because uh, I hear that noise in my neighborhood all the time. And I can hear the barn owls because um, they make a loud screeching sound. It's like a screechy, screechy sound. It's not a hoo-hoo sound. Oh, screech owls make that sound? No? Because I hear that, that hoo-hoo sound quite a bit. The, the problem is, is spotting where it's coming from. Yeah, it sounds like a dove, Lily. And I'm like, I know doves aren't out this late at night, you know? Oh, it's okay. It's okay, lucky girl. Screech, screech owls sounds more like horse wings. The hoo-hoo sound is the horned owl. I've seen one of those. It was on um, my husband and I. Okay, we thought the um, the TV broke. So it was, um, it was around Thanksgiving and I was like, let's just go to Target and get a TV because the sound was not working. And as we were driving around, he's like, I don't want to go to Target. I'm like, dude, just look up at the power lines because you're going to see an owl, which I just totally made that up. I just wanted him to be quiet and stop complaining, but I was dragging his ass to the store at like, you know, nine o'clock at night. And sure enough, we, we, we're driving around and I was just looking around, looking up and there was this ginormous bird on a power line and you can see the little horn things on its head. I'm like, there's an owl right there. He's like, holy shit. How did you spot that? You know? So it's like, I have an eye for ants. So um, yeah. Oh, and then when we got the TV, we brought it home and that TV didn't have sound either. And then we figured it out. Oh, it wasn't the TV. It was the HDMI cable that went bad. And so we went, we rushed back to the store, got the HDMI cable, and then returned the TV like a day or two later. So, yeah, but we did see an owl that, and it had the little horn things on its head. Terry says, We have owls around here because of roof rats and people leave their small pets out. Yeah, we have coyotes too. I've seen, uh, we see coyotes almost every day. Um, I've seen a family of little raccoons, but I've only seen that once. And I've never seen peacocks here. I don't think we have peacocks here at all. Screech and barn owls don't do the hoo-hoos. Yeah, I know that the barn owls don't because I've heard them and they, they make like a screechy sound. It almost sounds like a really weird, I don't even know how to describe it, like a really weird screechy scream sort of, but it's not a scream. Hi, Mother Earth Tarot. You have a red-tailed hawk? Yeah, we have one of those two here. He lives, well, he doesn't live there, but he lands on top of this really large tree that looks like a ginormous Christmas tree. Um, He's always hanging out up there. He's really cool. Oh, there was a taxidermied owl in the room. That's terrible. Poor thing. He got electrocuted. That's so sad. That's so sad. Oh, hi, Allie P. How you doing? It's late where you are. Hope it's not too late where you're at. So, okay, let me get my little, my little coffee. So I think I've yip yapped enough. Nobody wants to hear me talk all night about stuff that doesn't have to do with the reading. Mm -mm -mm. Owlpages.com. Thank you. I'm going to look that up, John. Thank you so much. That's, thank you so much, John. Hi, Patty Palmer. Oh, I haven't even gotten started yet. I've been yapping for like, I need to shut my mouth. 30 minutes. <laughs> 30 minutes now. So 
Oh, where's my little, oh shoot, I put it up there. Hi, Nora. If I can get some thumbs up, you guys, that would be lovely. There's 400 in the room and I see 174. That'd be great. So um, for those of you guys um, that do not know, um, Jenny and Johnny and I usually post on our community pages on YouTube Saturdays to take questions for our live stream on Sunday. So if you guys have questions for tomorrow's show, hey T-Bird, um, please visit Johnny's channel Jen's channel or my channel on our community page. Um, you'll see the post for questions for tomorrow. So go ahead and drop a question there um, if you feel so inclined. But just for future notice, um, that's where we take questions um, for the Sunday night reads. Um, tomorrow it'll be on my channel with Jenny and Johnny. Um, it starts at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard. Um, so, and I think it's six central. Um, so today we're going to do part two <laughs> of Jim Jordan's Grand Tableau. Um, I know that I, I started this with Johnny. Um, I wanted to give him the spotlight that evening, um, cause he was a guest on my channel and, he was doing those those petite tableaus that I think are fascinating. So I wanted to give him the the the, the stage for that one, just so you guys could see um, and get a very clear view of his reads. But there's a lot here that I did not discuss. Um, where Jordan lands is right here. Um, as you can see, he's quite close to the edge. Um, he's not in a very favorable position because he's got two rows above his head and he's exiting the tableau this way. He's got two columns ahead, meaning all this stuff back here is baggage that he's dragging along with him as he moves this way across the tableau. Um, and he's also got two columns over his head, meaning this is everything up here that he's thinking about. This is what is on his mind. This is where he's going. This down here is what he feels that he is in control of. So just from his position, we can see he's got a lot of baggage. He's got a lot of stuff on his mind. But for some reason, he feels that he's got this whole situation with um, this woman here, which I'm interpreting this as Liz Cheney. He feels that he's got this under his control. Okay. Um, I do believe I touched based on the position of lilies and woman in this tableau. Um, woman is landing in her own house and lilies is landing in her own in, in its own house. Um, where this woman lands, um, as you can see, she's not favored because she's got, she's all the way at the bottom of the tableau, which means she's got three columns of stuff on her mind. So very overwhelmed but she sits in her home in her own home so it kind of elevates her position even though she lands at the bottom okay so her relation to him is he feels he has domination or control or um i don't want to say domination but he's in control of the situation as it pertains to this woman because she lands beneath him what he does not see is that she's landing in her own house giving her extra power if that makes any sense the lilies is also landing in his own house. Um, the lilies has to do with maturity. It has to do with um, satisfaction, peace, serenity. Um, but it also is a card that is associated to people that have a, a certain type of lineage that not exactly royalty, but they're of a certain class. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, where they are just very highly respected, kind of like having that name. You know, um, um, though you may not be like royalty per se, but it's 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 a card that has to do with legacies, a person that has a legacy or 
uh, a famous and famous and well-established families. Okay. That's why I came to the conclusion that this was Cheney, uh, Liz, because she's sitting in her own house. So she stands in her own power and she's got lilies next to her, meaning that she's a very wise person, but she has the heritage and the legacy. And she comes from a very well-established family. Okay. I believe I discussed in that tableau that he ends up being disgraced uh, one way, shape or form because of where Lily's sits in position to him. It's beneath his feet. Um, traditionally, um, a little quirk in the grand tableaus, it doesn't apply anywhere else in a read, but in a grand tableau, if Lily's lands above somebody's head, it is a person of good character. If it lands below a person, if it could be directly below or to the side, bad character, questionable character, not, not good person. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, it's almost like you're stepping on, um, you're, you're stepping on your own purity. Does that make sense? So based on this, she comes up ahead of him, even though he feels like he can control this situation. No. And then here, I believe we discussed it in the grand tableau, this woman here, if I follow her up, this is, these are the hearings that are going to be taking place in the institution and those things are going to grow. And she's right here with all of it. Um, let me see. We have birds that sits on tree, house tree. So these are going to be established meetings, um, negotiations, hearings, but they grow. They branch out to get to the bottom, to get to the root of something. Well, tree lands over her head. Okay, next below birds, we have um, tower, which sits on child. New institutions, small institutions. And we could also be talking about, um, <laughs> um, little people like peanut butter people. Um, peanut butter boys. And the reason I'm saying that is because of where um, the pervert sits. He's got weapons right over his head here. So he is directly thinking about the weapons and the attack that came from the little people here that came to visit. And then if I follow it this way, the meetings that were had, and this woman's going to get to the bottom of it here. Okay. When we look behind his tableau, way back here, this is his present. And this tableau was done on um, July 22nd. Okay. Oh, hi, Virgo. Because I can't say the name Laura Hilton for YouTube stuff. Or um, I just don't want to give them any, you know what I mean? I, so I just refer to them. We refer, Johnny, Jenny, and I refer to them as the peanut butter boys, um, the peanut butter people. It's code. Yeah. Kind of like when we couldn't say COVID for the longest time because YouTube was taking videos down. So we used to call it the crown or, you know, stuff like that. There's certain things that we can't say because it will get in trouble on YouTube. Okay. 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 You got it. Okay. Thanks, Laura. Um, so at the time of this tableau, which we did on July 22nd, this is where he lands. So this would be his present. Okay. So in his present, he's got this attack on his mind, the weapons on his mind and there, the possibility if I interpret Lily's as um, the situation here, this would be how this is going to, he's going to be disgraced because Lily's lands below his feet. It's not a good position. If I read Lily's as a person, this is King of Spades. This would be someone that also has a legacy in their position and they are of senior, there are a senior person with a lot of, um, I don't want to say clout because that's not the correct word, but they have a lot of experience 
and this person and this person are quite close just because of how close they sit together in the tableau. Okay. So there's that whole situation here in his present. That's what's on his mind. We recently got the news that um, the letters, the handwritten notes that came out. Did you guys hear about that? I think the news broke Friday, was it? Um, of the handwritten notes that um, that lady reporter, she's always on MSNBC. Oh, I wish I would remember her name. Um, had gotten the handwritten notes from the acting attorney general um, that he memorialized the conversation that he had with Trump and Trump telling him to call the election a fraud and illegitimate and him and his, and his Republican friends would take action on it. Well, if we're looking at notes, we look back here to letter. See, it sits behind him. So it's technically in his past, even though as the line moves this way, it comes out. Does that make sense? So here's the letter. The letter is mail. It covers all documents, leases, loans, paperwork, emails, voicemails. This would be voicemails here. Um, handwritten notes, bills in the mail, certifications, licenses. It's also tests and results. Okay. Well, if we consider the first three cards, there's the rally here, the public, where there's a big, large gathering of people, people that visited, visiting a rally, okay, or knowing about a rally because Garden sits on writer. We have Crossroads that sits on um, Clover right next to it, which is winning the election or opportunity, a win, a small win, luck in the elections and the results of the transition, because letter sits on ship, okay? But since letter can also be something that is written, we can also interpret this as the handwritten notes that just came out from what? The conversation that Donald Trump had, giving orders to the, and what's right below it? The conversation, what's right below? Tower, that's government. Tower covers all bureaucracy. We're looking at the military. We're looking at government. We're looking at courts, uh, institutions like schools, libraries, anywhere where there's a bureaucracy and um, a chain of command. This here, it would also be a chain of command as well. Um, anywhere where there's... Um, 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 like a, like a chart of people. Okay. So the conversations that were had with the law here and birds sits on tree. So this thing just keeps growing here and there's Cheney right there. Well, um, sunflower, it kind of does because it's back here. See what I'm saying? So it, Technically, it sits behind him, but it affects him. And where Book is, Book sits on dog. He had knowledge because he was a loyalist. Book sits on dog. Dog sits here. You follow dog up. There it is. Um, so the results of the transition, because um, letter sits on ship, the results of the transition or the transfer Okay, remember, we're transferring power, which is over here, a transfer of power, and bear sit or ship sits on bear, transfer of power, okay? Um, we have the key, which lands on whip, a significant debate, significantly debating the results of the transition. Dog sits on tower, the loyalist in the institutions, okay? And then anchor sits on letter. That message for the transition that they were going to hold a significant argument about, a significant fight be for, with the loyalist in the institution, that was memorialized here. It was achieved. It was pen to paper. Does that make sense? 
that's all here, back here. And then from where he sits, this is the news coming out this way. If you follow the column left to right, as if, as if time were transitioning from left to right. I don't read lilies as sex, Mother Earth. I don't. So it goes this way. There may also be here from members or the network, the congregation, emails as well as voicemails. This would be mail that could be electronic, but it goes to a certain small entourage of people. Stars sits on house. So the house is an entourage. And since the house can also be your home office, um, it could be from the White House, okay? Letter, nights to tower. Mail, voicemails, conversations with institutions. And like I said, this is... Um, this covers all institutions, schools, governments, courts, jails, military, all of it, okay? And also, since this is a network, this could also be um, the stars in the house that have to speak about the attack from the little people that came to visit. Does that make sense this way, Sunflower? Um so there's that on that top line. Now, I know that Johnny was picking up health with Jim Jordan, which makes sense in this tableau because the tree lands close. If there was not a health issue, the tree would land far away. The closer tree is, the more um, important uh, um, it signifies a health issue. However, tree is also your spirituality, but it's also something that is growing. And tree sits on mountain. So red as um, a health issue, this could be something in the lungs that could be blocked or problems with the lungs because he's got um, he's got clouds right here, which is something that's airborne and it deals with the lungs. Birds is more like your throat and thyroid. Um Lilies is um, areas that are so, that uh, you're hearing um, and sight. And then bouquet is like alternative medicines and allergies. So that's, and then here it's showing addictions. If I'm reading this as health. If I read this as uh, metaphorically, it would be something that is growing. Okay, so there may be growing problems around him in regards to legal stuff lawsuits, legal fights. Um, what is interesting though, is tower sits on child and it's behind him since tower can mean all institutions, but it sits on house child. This could be in regards to when he was at the institution and there was abuse here. Look up here of children. Does that make sense? So it could be all of those things. So he may have um, the um, whip sits on Fox. He could be very, um, he could be thinking about charges here with Scythe for a cover up that was made because of an investigation that had to do with abuse and sex because whip is sex. It's sex addictions, something that is chronic. It's abuse, it's criticism, and then him. But also because these two read together is weapons. So it looks like he's got a couple of issues on his mind, one having to do with abuse of children and one having to do with weapons this way, okay? Um, and all of those things are growing around him because it's sitting, tree is sitting right here. Tree is sitting on mountain. Growing problems. It just, the problems grow. However, he feels like it's, it's behind him because of where it sits in position to him. Okay. So it's like, he feels like he's turned the page and those growing problems are behind him. 
but eh, I, I wouldn't be so fast to think that because here he's looking for independence. But underneath this, this sits on mice. Um, fish sits on mice. So the mice eats away. And the mice is anxiety. Birds is nervousness. Like when you get the jitters, you're a little bit nervous. Um, so when he nights, when we night him up here, growing nervousness and a lot of anxiety among the many. Fish is many. It's an abundance. So there's growing anxiety among the many that are trying to cling on to power or desire to have power. But there's also something here about him making a, having some sort of business being in some type of business for finance as well. Garden does not land close to this. It's back here. I need to check the chains, but it doesn't look, I could be wrong. I'd, I'd have to check, but it, this immediately right off the bat does not appear to be some sort of campaign um, thievery. It doesn't because mice is, where is mice? Mice is down here and it lands on anchor and anchor nights down here. The many are confused and they're growing more and more anxious. If you follow this line here, there's the ending and the loss. It sits on house um, storks. So it's it's almost like, hmm, how can I explain this? It's almost like um, a change that brings an ending, okay? Book sits on dog. And dog sits on tower. The ending here of the loyalists that had knowledge. And what are they doing? Gaslighting. This way it would be gaslighting. You have clouds sitting on garden. They all know. And they're all shitting their pants. And all they can do is gaslight this way. Because it's a growing problem for the many, and it causes them to be nervous because they're trying to cling to power this way. But there's also something here about finances and money. This way, it shows that there's an entourage that has betrayed a very reliable woman that has a lot of wisdom and, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, wisdom and, what did I say earlier? Um, like she has that recognition. Um, she has that, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, that well-established family lineage, but she's very passionate and committed. Okay. But they've, they've collectively betrayed her moving down this line because she's reliable this way. Snake sits on book. So there is a secret betrayal there and knowledge of a betrayal that is shared among this group of people, this entourage that were loyalist to those in the institution. Okay. So snake on book and book on dog, dog on tower. I think I covered that. Okay. So all of the loyalist that worked on this Book is also a project. All of the loyalists that worked on this project to betray and keep it secret cover their asses because they were all in on it in government. Okay. Um, thinking that this could be covered up and gaslit this way. That if this doesn't work, we'll just we'll be in power to cover our own asses. Nobody would dare betray us. Does that make sense? Um Does that make sense? So there's that. Now, did I ever follow? I didn't follow letter. Okay, hold on, you guys. Um, now, the entourage. Entourage is your tightest knit group. This is more like a click here. And birds sits on, birds sits on tree. I, because birds is, is a, it's a meeting. It's um, uh, an interview. Phone calls, uh, negotiations, chit chat, nervousness, gossip. Um, 
I tend to view this card more like a like a smaller group of people. And I usually think seven to 12. That number is not exact. It's just a range. Okay. Um, but that group grows. You start to see how this thing grows. Okay. And the entourage here is a, is a much smaller group where this people, these people just kind of chit chat. These people are close knit, like your family. Do you see what I'm saying? But it's got stars sitting there. So it's almost like those people become star speakers here. If I read it literally, celebrity speaker, birds sing, they talk about the attack here with little people, peanut butters that came to visit. Okay, let me get my pen real quick so um, that I can write down this chain. I thought the chain on this one wasn't until we did um, Mo Brooks the other day. That one was 35 long, you guys. It was only, it was one card short of the of the entire tableau. Um, yeah, too bad there aren't Alfred Hitchcock birds, the crows. I love them. I you know if that were me, I'd just be out there with a bag of peanuts because crows love peanuts and they love uh, kitty uh, kitty kibble. So. If you ever get attacked by a bunch of crows like Alfred Hitchcock, peanuts and kitty kibble, you'll be saved and you'll thank me later. Okay, so I need to follow around. You know what? I need to follow the letter around. Give me one second. Oh, Mo's, Mo's, in, a, Mo's in a world of trouble. Okay, can okay, I'll, I'll get that to I'll get to that in a second, Carol. Let me just I'm doing letter, okay? So let me do this. I need to write it down because sometimes they can be quite long. Thirty four, twenty three. Okay, I'm blind. Thirty five, twenty seven. Okay, so okay, Carol, this one's for you. Okay. Do you understand positions in the tableau? Do you understand how the positions work, Carol? I'm not explaining it correctly. Okay, so when we look here, each card has position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight all the way to 34 and an eight by four plus four tableau. Each position corresponds to a card. Position one is always writer because writer is card number one in the Lenny's. Position two is always clover, which is card number two in the Lenny's. Position three is always ship because that's card number three in the Lenny's. So think of the houses at, as every single card in numerical order from one through 36, okay? In this case, we're looking at letter. What position does letter land in? One, two, three, okay? So we go 27, which is letter, to three, which is ship. Ship sits over here. What position is ship in? It's in position 15. We find card number 15, which is bear, right here. Bear sits in position 24, which is heart. We go here. Heart sits in position 31, which is sun. We go back over here. Sun sits in position 12, which is birds. We go up here. We find birds. Birds sits in position tree which is over here, which is um, tree sits in position 21. We find card number 20, 21. 
21 sits in position 34 in numerical order. We look for card number 34. 34 sits in position 23. That's mice. We go look for mice. Mice is down here in position anchor. We look for anchor. Anchor's up here in position letter. And then we look for letter and that's, we went all the way back to where we started. So you just follow it around. You look for the position that this is in and you find the card and you just go all the way around linking the chain until you get back to where you started. Sometimes it's only two or three cards. Sometimes as we saw the other night on Mo Brooks, it was 35 cards <laughs> going all the way around. And what that does is that that gives you an added layer to the story. Okay. Now you get it too, Peggy. Okay, good, good. I'm glad you understand because sometimes I don't think I'm explaining myself correctly and I don't mean to, um, to confuse people. Okay, let me see. Let me, I think I missed a card. Hold on. 27 to 3 to, where's 3? 15 to 24 to 31. 12, 5, 21, 34, 23, 35, 27. Okay, so those kind of give you, let me see if I can, give me one second, you guys. Let me get my, my cards. One second, please. Okay, I'm going to do it this way, Carol, and hopefully this will make sense. So you saw how I how I did that chain. And, and Peggy, too. This one's for you, too, Peggy. And you let me know if you don't understand me. Um, let me see here. 27. 3. Oh, thank you, Mother Earth. 15. 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 12. Thank you, Marby. Five. 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 Numero cinco. Donde está? Okay. Five. Twenty-one. Thirty-one. Give me one second, you guys. Twenty-one, thirty-four, twenty-three, thirty-five. Where's thirty-five? Okay. So this is the chain from following this out. And this is what we have extracted. This is the message that has been extracted from following that chain. Okay. This tells a story that gives depth to all this. And sometimes it gives you a, a, another added layer of meaning. And depending on where it lands, it can also be telling you how events will unfold. Um, so right here, we're starting off with letter, ship, and bear. The results, transition of power, a desire to be successful, a meeting that's going to grow problems. Why? Because they were trying to delay. This meeting was had to delay something. The many are worried and it's 
persistent anxiety, okay? From there, you can go mirrors. So that tells you another story, okay? Let me see it this way. So from here, we extract even further if you want. The result of successful power here to grow the majority and secure something. The transition, there was something that was desired in the meeting here to delay, obstruct, and steal something. But it gets found out that is achieved here because it ends in anchor. Anchor is um, its achievement. It's being persistent. It's having fortitude. So the goal, it's also the goal. So the goal was what happened at this meeting for the transition of power and be very successful. They were very optimistic that this was going to work to delay something, cause a huge problem and to steal it. With mice, it's thievery. And it's also anxiety. Mice sits over here in the house of anchor. It's persistent. And there are some people, very many, fish is many, that are shitting their pants. Shitting their pants. Um, and if you look what's over his head, He's got birds close. Birds is nervousness. It sits on tree. There's growing nervousness and a lot of anxiety among the many of getting found out. Okay. Um, they're going to work very, very hard to put an end to this because they're all in agreement. The entire entourage is in agreement here. The rally here, we're, uh, the garden sits on writer. People that visited this um, outdoor function, if you will, garden can be something outdoors, a party outdoors, a concert, somewhere where a large gathering of people, large, large gathering of people, visitors at a large gathering. Here's the visitors coming to end something, sits on coffin. They were all in agreement here with ring sitting on moon, it was a creative agreement and a very, um, I don't want to say emotional because I don't want to use that word too, too lightly, but it was an, a creative agreement between the entourage house sits back on, on ring. They were all in agreement to at the heart of the tableau, sun sits on birds the meeting, the negotiations, that comes to light here. Tower sits on child. New institutions, small institutions, or little people at institutions, okay? So we could also be talking about um, his time while he worked with people at school, okay? Clouds on garden, trying to cause chaos in a large group of people, a very uncertain crowd, a very disturbed crowd. And also because sun is here gaslighting the public, but it, the problems grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. Trees don't sprout out overnight. This takes time. He's got lilies right here as well. This is also a time card. So this is not something that is resolved anytime soon within the next two or three months. This takes time and it could very well go past winter because here you have a card that represents winter. Here you have a card that represents change of season. So perhaps that the change of season in the winter was can be when the shit hits the fan for him. Oh, hold on. Thank you, Jean. Just one second. Does, does that make sense, you guys? Oh, thank you, Jean. Thank you so much for your donation. That's so very good kind of you. I did something here. Uh, 
Oh man, this thing malfunctioned. Shut the front door. Shut the front door. Oh no, man. My little light went out. There it goes. Okay, got it back on. Don't malfunction on me yet. <laughs> it makes sense so far. So from here, we can look at his line of five this way. He's having some growing doubts here in his past. If I read this neutrally as just something that's growing. And it could also, if I read it in a health sense, this can be interpreted as something health related that's pulmonary or airborne or affects the lungs. Okay. So, and then, um, what is this? Clouds nights over to whip. This could be something chronic that's health related that has to do with the lungs. And it could also be something, this here is a hospital as well. Okay. Hospital an institution for health. So, and this could also be fighting, Whip is fighting, fighting about something that has to do, that's health related, where people end up in the hospital. It's airborne, air related, affects the throat and the lungs. But it starts here with dog. Dog is nose and tongue. So we could be looking at COVID. Tower sits on child, something new or it's in the early stages. So there's something here that's planned where they have strategized within the entourage on how they're going to spin this thing in regards to this right here with scythe. Scythe is metaphorically anything sharp. Scissors, rakes, knives, syringes, um, sharp tooth pains. Okay, so we could be talking about um, what they're going to say about what vaccines here that are new and the delivery of those things, but it turns into spin and it's gaslit here. So in that context, it's meetings on how they're going to spin this whole COVID thing and turn that into a whole shit show. For what? So that the transition itself moving forward becomes very, very difficult. It stops this success here moving forward. If I read tree as something that that's health related, because Tree is close to him, I would not be surprised if there's something in his health going on as well that may be caused by something chronic. Perhaps, I don't know if he's a smoker. Could be because he's got um, Whip close by, which would be an addiction. Um, and he's got Tree right here, which is telling me there's something wrong with his health or something that needs to be addressed in his health. And he's got clouds here. So And these two nights. So it could be something like an addiction to cigarettes or smoking. Okay. Um, there's that. So we're reading his line. Okay. This way it's saying that there's growing concerns or a lot of problems with something that is health related could be lungs or the gaslighting. If I'm using this me metaphorically, gaslighting grows and then him and his business is power. His business is financial. Okay. If I read this line over here, let me see. Successful arguments in court, but moving forward becomes very burdensome. So he's optimistic. He knights over to son. He's optimistic that he can be successful at court, but those arguments make it a very difficult journey moving forward. Then you read these two here like a double line of five. Success is uncertain. Here's a hospital, or when I look at what's underneath, um, a small institution or an institution with children and growing problems there because tree lands on mountain. He's very argumentative. He's got whip over his head, also quite possibly addictions. Um, very argumentative. You got um, birds here. So birds is meeting. This is arguing, okay? Very argumentative, abusive. Um person. Um, ship and fish. Let's see here. Hmm. Let me see something. Hold on. Fish and ship. Fish and fish and chips. Um, hmm. 
how can I think about Because fish is on bear. Transfer of power or transition of power. And the many are nervous or the many are stealing. Many stealing. Okay. So let me see. How can I put those two together? So. How can I put those together? Um, this here, without considering the houses, is a business trip, but it shows up ahead of him. So he may have some sort of new business trip coming up. Um, ship is also a vacation, like a getaway. Okay, so um, wait, isn't the house going on? Um, isn't the house due to be on break? Like starting um, in August? Because this here shows a trip or some sort of vacation. Okay, so that could be some sort of trip that he's got upcoming here. But that trip turns out to be very, very difficult this way and painful. Okay. Um, so there's that. When I consider, because um, this is kind of like um, perhaps a trip to, I don't want to say constituents because garden's way over there. It's like... Um, but it's a it's a business trip. It's a, a trip for business. Okay. Um, transportation, uh, fright, uh, businesses that have to do with something overseas. Um, so we could be looking at like uh, fright, um, freight, um, shipping something abroad, consumer goods here with fish. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and say, just to keep it simple, um, some sort of a business trip and you have bear and cross and bear, cross and bear, cross and bear. Um, mm, how do I put those two together? Let me see in my brain, my brain's a thinking, my brain's a thinking, um, this could be like a fine. Um, what does that say? Um, this could be a fine, some sort of financial difficulty. Um, the burdens of power and a very heavy responsibility because this, this is strong and heavy. And this is responsibility. So a very heavy responsibility burden something quite possibly a fine as well there's a business trip here um gaslighting growing problems with the courts fighting business trip and then the burdens of um burdens of power and fines and having a super heavy responsibility this way birds and cross do not talk in this tableau they're so far away from each other. They don't night. So they're not talking. The only way to get them to talk is go like this. So this is saying, and he's got whip right over his head. He may fight before he goes to speak at an institution. If I look at these corners, because here you're going to meet somebody or there's news about some sort of a meeting, but this means that you're visiting. So you're planning some sort of a visit for a meeting. Underneath that, you have the institution. And then here, these two are talking about speaking to an institution, a hearing in an institution. Here it's saying that that visit is going to be very problematic. Bad, 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 bad news. Um, if I were to read it simply, it's like news of guilt. Um, news that you're guilty. News of suffering. News of pains and burdens. Um, uh a pained visitor. Um, let me see. What's another word, way I can explain it? Um, um, and that there's concerns up ahead. Does does that make sense, or am I speaking a weird language? <laughs> um, so. And this way, if 
I read this as Cheney. This line of influence says he gets the news that he needs to travel with this and and for the, to be with this woman or see this woman down this line of influence. However, what he's got over his head is whip. He'll fight it. Or he's thinking about how he's going to fight it because it's over his head. It's his thoughts, how he's going to fight it. Um, the invitations are on the way, though. If I if this member letter is any written documentation, correspondence, anything like that, it's on its way. It's on its way to being delivered this way. It's coming. So it's almost like he's in anticipation of bad news. And the only way to get out of it is to fight here. He's thinking about the argument and the case he's going to make. Now, if I follow it this way, if this is the meeting and the hearing, it's almost like that meeting and hearing gets cut off here. If this, if I use the scythe to describe how the birds is going to act, very, very cutting speech, very cutting, sharp, sharp, sharp an argumentative speech here. And then this sound, birds sits on tree. Tree is number five. So he could speak five, speak the fifth and cut it off, not say anything. Does that make sense that I just, um, did, did I make sense of that? Or... Okay, you got that, Carol? Okay, because I didn't I didn't know if I was explaining it correctly. Okay, because of where it sits. So I'm reading the card and then I'm just looking at the number underneath. So like speak speaking the fifth, not talking and fighting and being very critical, cutting bad. Okay. Um, there may be disciplinary action that comes his way because cross sits ahead of him. And he's got whip over his head. These two together mirroring disciplinary action and punishment. Okay. Um, the question then becomes, does he, within the timeline that was set for this tableau, was one year. I got these two columns to work with for one year. The question then becomes, within this one year, does he get cut off from the house? And where's house here? Scythe is up here. House is back here. And when I read the corners, it's it's like he's still there. He's still linked. He's still linked. He is still linked. Time frame that was set for this tableau. I, I don't, unless I'm missing something, I don't see it. Okay. Um. Oh, hi, Diana. I didn't see you come in. Hi. Um, here it shows disciplinary action. He's got tower over his head, but it's behind him. So he may be thinking about isolation being institutionalized. Um, now... The invitation is over here, and we went through that line. Okay. Hmm, hold on. Let me look at this for a second. Let me look at... And it's almost like it's prolonged anxiety. This is not anxiety or stress that um, goes away anytime soon at all. It, it's almost like it fluctuates a little bit, um, but it, it's it's persistent. Um, let me see here. Because the uh, where the mice sits, it sits on house anchor. Um
it's like it's and and because anchor kind of is so persistent it has fortitude it kind of sticks you know what i mean it's almost like that and you've got lilies over here prolonged anxiety it's like long term anxiety it's a constant state of worry um with this position here where it lands and here is lilies it's another time card tree is another time card so there's this sense of and so is mountain so and tower speaks of longevity so for the next year tower can um longevity it's the the longevity of institutions okay so He's got one card here, longevity, another one here that speaks of longevity and things need, needing time to mature. He's got a card here that talks about something growing and those things that grow take time. He's got mountain here, long time to get over a mountain. And then mice sits on anchor, prolonged. It's a prolonged state of anxiety for him and, and the many that involved while this woman is on the job. And the investigations are ongoing. Um, it it's um, it may cause a health issue um, over the next year, even though tree lands behind him. Um, this way, it, like I said, I have these two columns. So let me see here. Hold on. Did I did I cover everything back here enough, you guys? Did I go down this way and this way? You think so, Peggy? The first line down, Carol? Okay, so we're looking at... Um, hmm. I'm going to read this. Let's see. This right here, because this is a large body, could be talking about the people that visited the rally because it sits in position one, okay? So it could be visitors to a park, um, some sort of a public outing outdoors where there's lots of people. Fox on bouquet. It's kind of, Fox on bouquet, false flattery. Um, false flattery, like you're using flattery to manipulate somebody. Does that make sense? Because the, the fox is about manipulation. So you're flat flattering someone, but you're using it as a form of manipulation. Does, does that make sense? Okay. Carol saying yes. Okay. We got coffin on storks bringing an end to any sort of change, stopping the change, ending a change, okay? And then you have house on ring, the entourage that was in agreement. So that's that row right there. So this could be talking about the strategies as well that took place because it lands behind him, one, two, three, four, five, five columns behind from where he's at. We are, let's say, hold on. This was in July. So this goes back. This, I would think that this would be the beginning of the year, but I don't. Back to January. Do you see what I'm saying? I think that's how far back it goes because this is the rally where people visited. And then how they were trying to manipulate something to bring something to an end. And those that were in agreement with the entourage, how the people had 
linked together. So I this may be January back here. One, two, three, 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 three. That's ship. Ship is March for time. Hold on. Ship is March for time. But it's it's slow moving though. Hold on. Let me double check myself here. I'm just trying to see how far back this is going. This, I could be wrong. I'm just trying to figure it out. Um, for timing. Three days, weeks, or months. March, the third of the month. Let me see what, because that's what it sits on that position. Let me look at garden. Garden is for timing 20 days or the second or 20th of the month. Twenty days or the second or twentieth of the month. Um. Okay, hold on. Let me write this down before I forget it. Garden is twenty days or the second or twentieth of the month. Okay. Timing crossroads is two days, two weeks, I think, or the 22nd. Let me see if the timing, hold on. The 22nd of the month, okay. The number two is important in, in this card. So any anything with two or a combination of two, two weeks, two months, and then it's also temporary. Okay, does anybody know... That um, that letter that was just released by or that was just reported by the Washington Post of the handwritten notes that Donahue, the acting attorney general, took. D did anybody get a date on that? Did they disclose the date? You don't know, Carol? The the reason I'm doing this is because I um the the very first grand tableau that I ever did on Donald Trump back in May 2019, I think. I did like 9,000 of those cuz it was just it went out all that time the entire year was laid out. He fell outside of the tableau. He had Scythe right here. He had Fox right here. He had Letter right here. And I learned the way that that tableau, as time went by and we were able to go back and say, yep, that, that happened, that happened. And we were able to, to pinpoint stuff. I saw impeachment right here because it was Letter Scythe. Fox landed down here. Well, the, the news about the impeachment was announced at the very beginning of the fall. I thought it was October because Scythe is number 10, October, but it's also the fall time. And underneath the writer, it's almost like the arrival of fall. The column that fell for October was right here and Fox was right on Housewoman. That's when they announced the first investigation was right at the beginning of the fall. It wasn't October. It was like the late September within a few days of the fall, like the week of the fall or a few days after. And it showed the investigation that was Nancy Pelosi um, having the showing the investigation into announcing the investigation for his impeachment of Donald Trump. So that's why I'm, I'm just because I learned that little bit. I'm trying to see if it applies here too. I could be totally wrong. 
What happened December 27th, Peggy? Thanks, Marie. Well, why are you late, Marie? What the heck? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, was that when the when the notes were handwritten? In late December, was it around the 20s? Because here you got 20 and 22. This is saying the 20th of the month or 20 days or the second of the month. This is saying two, 22 or any combination of two. If you look here, 20 and 22, this is giving, it looks, it could be giving me a range that it happened sometime between the 20s somewhere. And then what falls next to it is the letter when the notes were taken. So 27th of December, this could be going back to December. Does, does that, does that make sense, Peggy? Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much, Peggy. Thank you, Renee. Clint Eastwood movie and Jack and Coke. <laughs> Marie, are you shit faced? <laughs> no. So thank you, Marie. Yep, September, December 27th. Okay, so this, this tableau could be going back to that time frame between something that happened between the 20th around that range, the week of the 20th, the week of the 22nd, something like that, okay? Um, but it's hard to tell because this is stuff we don't know about yet, and it comes out this way. Um I mean, we do know about the meeting that they had, what was discussed, the rally. Okay, so let me, let me look. I don't even know where to start, you guys. Where should I start, JLo? T 12, 27, 20, and it's the top right-hand quarter of the notes. Okay, got it, Sterling. Thank you so much. Because if I'm looking at time, this is around the 20, 22nd. So around there, which you guys are saying is the 27th. So it's looking like it's that week. It was within that week. Let me look at my calendar so I know I'm not. Let me see. December 2020 calendar. Okay, let's see. Images. I ain't paying you to get no Zazzle calendar. Zazzle. Okay. Yep, it was that week. It was a Sunday. That those notes were taken on a Sunday, according to this calendar that I'm looking on YouTube for December 2020. It was on a Sunday. So it was the week after this because this. So. Hmm. This would have been a Sunday. This would have been a Tuesday. And the notes were taking were taken the week after on that Sunday. So there may have been something that happened in these two columns within those two days that led up to this. Am I making any sense? <laughs> Am I making any sense at all? Thanks, Bam Bam. Keep it up. Thank you. Mm -mm -mm. That makes sense. Uh, so if I go with that idea or that hypothesis, this would be the the week before this happened. But it looks like this goes back to December of 2020. This whole this whole portion of the tableau. If I'm interpreting this correctly, I could be wrong. Oh, that's so sweet, Marie. Okay. 
So this was already planned. The visitors to the to the park, the visitors to the rally. Um, down this column, crossroads on Clover, Clover on Scythe, Book on Dog, Snake on Book, and Bookland's right above it. This is also strategy because fox are very um, cunning, okay? Let's see, let's see. Let's see here. An opportunity and a chance to win the elections through a stroke of luck because of the project that the loyalists were working on to betray. They they were they had already plotted here. Fox knights here to snake. Snake sits on book. Book is right above it. They they hatched out the plan back here. If this is the 20th, they hatched it here. And then those that were in on the project, that the loyalists that knew about the project already got the plans on how they were going to betray. That happened here. Here... We already discussed that. Um, the results of the transition, also the handwritten notes, how they were going to put up a fight. The important uh, loyalists that were in the institution and um, to be persistent about the results, that it was false. The election here, false. So doubt this way and, and lie about it. The plan was to lie. Lie, 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 lie. Doesn't matter if the sky is blue, they're going to come out and tell you it's green. And that was a strategy this way because the loyalist had his backing and they were they were going to be reliable right here. And you guys said it was written. Can you all see that? You all see that number? like why I take so long with these because sometimes it can be quite literal. It's the 27th. Um, it can be quite literal. You can ask for amounts. You can ask for dates. You can ask for a range of dates. See what I'm saying? So it's almost like this right here is giving you the range of dates. The 20th, the 22nd, around that time frame. And this is when that letter was, was written down. They hatched it out back here, and it was written down and documented here. Hey, babe. How are you? Okay. So if this is still December. This is probably... This would be around January, maybe, maybe. Hold on. No, I've never tried to go out like that, though. I've always looked to these two for time. Okay, okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let me see. 
winter, winter, change of seasons, May, November, fall or October, March, but we're way past March, June, summer, September, but that's behind him. Okay, 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 okay. let's see. Let me see here. Hmm. Okay, so if this is December, then these two columns here are the most recent to him. Because you see where he sits? The further back, the further back in time. The closest, the more immediate, uh, the more near past and then this is near future and then the further out it goes further further out okay so that's his past past like far away past and this is most recent okay well this one be this one right here would be most recent so i'm wondering if this is like two and then this is two so maybe like four months Ugh, um hmm Hey, how can I read this? You guys, can you can you guys give me um can you guys please give me a few minutes cuz Peanut just got home and I wanted to go say hello to him. Is that okay? Is that okay? Thank you guys. I'll be right back. Just want to say hi to my little peanut. <laughs> Thank you.
I know. I'm sorry, Wilbur. Put him back in his home? Okay. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Peanut's doing good. Um, the little, our little iRobot, the little vacuum cleaner, killed himself. He ran out of battery before he made it back to his home. So um, the charging sta station, so Peanut was getting a bunch of crap <laughs> about how did I leave Wilbur there to die like a hobo, and I should have put him back in this charging station. So that's what we named our little iRobot. His name is Wilbur. So, <laughs> so that's the story that was going on. Okay. All righty, where did I leave off? Oh shit, I didn't bring my water. Um, so this is past, past, past. So we're looking back here at December. So this is, and, and the reason I'm doing this is because if you can figure out the space in between each column, so this looks like within a week's time followed immediately by the following week. So this is a very short period of time, but from where he sits, it's way back in his past. Okay. So if I can figure out um, the, the, the way that it, ex that it's explained in my book, um, if you can figure out what each column is, then you can apply that formula moving forward. If that makes sense. Does that make sense? Or am I just talking gibberish? Hi, Graciela. Thank you, JLo. Did I make any sense? Okay, okay, thanks, Carol. Thanks. So I'm trying to figure out when this happened, but it looks like it's in his most immediate past here because it's closest to him. It's closest to him. So, okay. So let's see if we can figure this out. This right here. Hmm, 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 hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Give me one second. Let me see. Let me see. When did this happen and what event is this describing? Let me see. Okay. Now, okay, 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 okay. This here is huge success and very high honors. Um, lots of celebrity accolades, um, recognition. Okay, you're in the spotlight but it's followed by clouds. So it's kind of like, there's a problem, huge problem in regards to how you got those awards. Um, if, we're, if we're looking at this in terms of um, awards, um, let me see. So when it's followed there by clouds, um, it's kind of like it's overshadowed but there's a problem with those, hmm, it's a problem with the rewards. Um, there's a problem with the awards, huge success and accolades. There's a problem here though, but it's almost like it's your victory is very uncertain. And the if, if there was a, an award gotten out of this, it's, um, it's very prob problematic like bad, 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 bad news, but he was happy to take it here um, because the, the, the bouquet also in regards to talents. Um, so it could be that 
he was awarded something. If I'm reading this as an award, he was awarded something for his talents in marking something, um, uh, marking something up, uh, bad weather, um, confusion, um, doubts, hesitations, um, Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. <sighs> he got the Medal of Freedom Award. Shut the front door because this is this right here is. It's huge loads of success. It's accolades, it's awards, it's um, you're, you're put on the spotlight and given huge recognition, but it's marred right here because down this column, it's showing bad, very bad. Sunflower, Mother Earth is saying that he got that around January. Can we verify? Because here it shows that he was happy to receive it the gift, uh, uh, bouquet lands in his house. So he was awarded something and recognized for being successful, but it's problematic. Here, January 11th, Mary Lou? You're shut the front door. January 11th says Mother Earth. Okay, so we see December, this, the around the weeks of the 20th, the, the week of the 20th, here's the letter that gets written on the 27th, and here's January. So it, this is going month to month. Well, this, this here, these three columns here are within the span of a week. Seven days because the, the week of the 20th was the 20th through the 26th. The letter was documented on the 27th. And then this is showing January. You guys are saying 11th. So we, okay. All right. So there's, mm, what's the time difference between, because I'm trying to get that so I can plug it in here. Um, so this, this is one week. The letter was written on the 27th, and then this is January, around the 11th, you guys are saying, is when he when he received the award. So from the 27th to January, if I can get on the Google machine here on the, on the okay. Oh, I'm not trying to buy you. Sure. Let me see. So. Let me see here. This is, okay, so it jumps, all right, so it jumps from, it jumps from the week of the 20th, this right here is one week, jumps into the following week, so we're going one week here, the following week here, so these three are two weeks, and then from there, it jumps to about 15 days, I think, let me see. 15 days. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Renee. I, I really appreciate it. A little over two weeks. Okay. So this is two weeks. All right. Let me write this down. Hold on. 
I'm going to put that on my little notes here. So this here is one week. This is one the following week. This is 15 days. Okay. Sorry, I'm making notes on my little right here. Okay. So um Okay. What's going on here? Cuz this is in his past. Okay. So There was a meeting in the institution because there's a growing problem with this woman. Oh, thank you so much, Virgo. You are so very kind. What, what did J-Lo said? Wonder if the swamp whisperer wore a bulletproof vest during the insurrection. Well, the other I did, J-Lo. Well... See, that's, that's the thing, Mother Earth. She lands down here. And over here, it says that there was a meeting in an institution because of a growing problem with this woman. Does anybody know when that happened? They were discussing the growing problems in the institution with this woman. This woman has lilies right next to her. Um, and I think we talked about that earlier, the, per, the person that has that legacy. And there was a meeting about her right there. This I don't know if this was Stefanik Angela because this, this woman here is a person of high standing. She's well-recognized. Um... um she has a legacy. She has that family name. They ousted Cheney at the end of January. No, this is not Pelosi. This is um, Cheney. Because they had a meeting about how to deal with this woman. She was posing a problem. She was, she was a growing problem. And this woman, if you look behind her, there was a betrayal against her because she was very persistent and reliable and very honorable this way, pure. And she was very passionate and committed to, to something. Yeah, so when, because from here, and see that? She's got mice underneath her. They took something from her. That was May 13th. Well, tree is May. Number five. I don't know if you guys can see that. Is it focusing? Can you guys see? No, you guys can't see. Tree is May because it's card number five. Let me see. Let me show you guys. Let me see. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see this one better. That's number five. That's May. It's sitting over her head. There was a meeting about her. And Tower sits on child. That's number 13. Does that make sense? So, so it went, man, see, okay. I can't get this time right because it looks like those, that last, the, the week of the 20th is here. The following week is here. It goes 15 days here and then it jumps to May. It jumps to May right here. So, hmm, hmm, this is two weeks. From here to here is two weeks. And then it goes 15 days here. So another two weeks here. But then it jumps. So this was in January. Okay, so this is, hold on, let me write this. 
he got the award, you guys said January 11th. So then it jumps four months this way, around four months. If this was May 11th, when he got the award, Cheney was out, ousted May 13th. That That's four, five months. And that's the most recent. So this could be between here and here could be four months and between here and here can be four months. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, it shows here that she, she lost something. They took something away from her. They ate something away from her, okay? Um, had mice been here, it would have been she's nervous. But no, she's she lost something. Something was taken away from her. And you guys are saying that she lost it. They 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 took away her position May thirteenth. But I want I'm wondering when that meeting was, because if I read it literally. If I read it literally, birds sits in house uh, tree, which is um, May. Oh, thank you, Jean. You are so incredibly kind. Um, well, Sterling, that's hard to tell because I'm, this tableau is not about Cheney. This tableau is about Jordan. Okay. So let me back it up here. Birds sits on tree. Tower sits on child. Tree sits right above her on the on mountain. And she sits in her own house. There may have been a meeting earlier that month in May or on the 12th. It was a rash decision here. It was a very rash decision. Um, bird, uh, birds is the negotiations and it could have come from a phone call or some sort of meeting that was had to cut her out here. But Scythe is a very quick, sudden decision. It's something you do impulsively. Does that make sense? So her outing must have come through after having a phone call to cut her out because there's the meeting. What's the meeting about cutting, separating. So it could have been the day before or, or within that time frame before it happened um, until she became a problem that wasn't planned back here. I mean, well, if I follow it this way, yeah, it was planned this way because that was part of, what we discussed back here about the knowledge loyalist in the entourage that were committed to stealing something. It's, but since Scythe is up here, it's far away from her, but it's closer than this back here. So I would say that was a very rash decision that was made. Um, hmm. So it jumped four months. So in theory, in theory, between here and here can be four, and here and here can be four, in theory. Um, because the timeline that was set for this tableau was one year. So I'm going to go ahead and read this over the next year, if that makes sense. The most immediate thing is here. So there's a new business trip this way. If I read it simply, new business trip for something that he's desiring. Um, a child that is traveling and payment for an affair. That's another way to interpret that. Um, a new journey or a, a very small journey um, for business or some sort of commerce. Um, that he's desiring, that he wants, that, um, hmm, 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 hmm. Okay, the child, the child, the child, the child. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, let me look for markers. Child. Mm -mm -mm. This is one year minimum. This is March, three months, but it's slow. This doesn't really have timing. It has to do with the tides or the moon cycles when fishing is plentiful. And this is spring. This is January or the arrival of something. This doesn't have time. This is six to nine months. And then this is the 25th of the month. Spring. And I think this one's spring as well. Let me check. Hold on. Let me check myself to see if that's if this one is spring. I think this one is spring. Hold on. Let me see. Twenty fourth of the month, spring and summer. Okay. Let me go to the other one. Double check myself. Twenty fifth of the month, cyclical or continuous. Okay. This has to do more with when the fishing is plentiful. So this one's tied to moon cycles. This is spring. This is winter. And this is saying over a long period of time at the change of season is when the, the arrival of guilt gets there. So, okay. He's got, we went over this, the weapons and the attack and his strategy on he's gonna, how he's going to attack the little people that came to visit that were weaponized, that traveled, who financed it this way, who financed the attract and who financed the travel. This way, it shows little people, peanut butter people that traveled. Commerce business here. That was, um, I don't want to say gifted. That's the wrong word. It's kind of like, um, mm, mm, kind of like, um, I'm struggling for words here. Um, let me think, what's my brain doing? Um, Mm. Um. Oh, thank you, Martin. Martine Reed, thank you so much. Okay, 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 okay. Think, 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 think. Hold on. Um. Little people that traveled, and by little, I mean weaponized little people that like to eat peanut butter, okay? The little people that traveled, the peanut butters, that are peanut butters, um, that were many, many, there was an abundance of them. Um, um, there, there was an abundance of them, like a lot of something, Um Lots of travelers that eat peanut butter. Okay, <laughs> let me just say it that way. So I'm speaking in coded language. Um, if there's anybody that's struggling with my coded language, um, can you guys please let them know in the comments section because I can't be saying certain things um, without getting flagged. I can curse all I want on YouTube and not get in trouble. I just can't say certain things um, that are not curse words. What what were you wondering, Marie? You're having you, you don't understand what peanut butter is when I say that. Are you not understanding? Um the many, the little people that eat peanut butter, that traveled, the many of them, and who they consulted with, it shows here. 
he consulted. It shows him having a consultation this way for the travel. This way, it shows the meeting that was had. Here's the weapons, the attack, something violent, very ruptured. It happens very quickly. So the weapons here, the fighting, and the consulting. And those that were in agreement, the consulting agreement here. Okay. Um, now, let me see here. That heart... Okay, so the heart is passion, it's desire, it's generosity, it's love, something that you are very passionate about. Heart, knights here to whip, impassioned followers, impassioned people that came to fight here. The many underneath this, this sits on mice, anxious anxious and very angry with with whip here am i making sense um thank you peggy breen and the other the other ones because it was um um there was a few because there's many there's many here and they're very anxious irritable angry with with um whip here agitated, angry, um, whip sits on, on Fox, um, agitated, angry, but also very covert. Okay. There's also covert messages back here that may have taken place between the time frame that we think we established here. This is within these two columns here or within a two week time frame. Whip sits on Fox. Fox sits on um, bouquet and it nights, but Fox nights up here. There may have been consultations, email, phone calls. Um, here, since this star starts, this tableau here starts with garden. As you follow this down, several messages that were posted on social media about to this entourage, the base, the people that are committed Okay, um, for them to come and visit the planning. Metaphorically speaking, stars is a map, a navigation system, GPS systems, constellations, anything blingy and shiny sits on house. House is down here. So from here to here, we can see social social media discussions and mail that was being passed around voicemails messages on forums several forums here those several forums can be social media and other blog posts or where people go not necessarily facebook i mean it could be facebook but because this night's here and it's on this diagonal here see the congregation happened online at a book on the internet, that's where the entourage meets and communicates. Okay. Um, so there's voicemails, text messages, phone calls, posts online. Um, and the investigators were looking into it because it's uh, Fox is also investigators, it sits behind him all the way back here. Okay. Um, what was, where was I going with this? I lost my train of thought, but it's like these people are angry, aggravated, impulsive. They act very quickly, dangerous, attacking. What sits next to it, attacking this capital, a, a large building, an official building. Okay, um, I'm 
London's Prosperity Consulting, but he consulted with these people. He consulted with these people, perhaps about the financing here. So who financed this thing? Because the financing shows up ahead of him. In the meetings about the fight with the many and the consultations that they had in those meetings and how committed those people were. Also how he's linked to it because he knights over here to ring and ring knights back to him how he's linked. If we're looking at finances, financing comes here. Okay. Financing is here. So it looks if if we apply that formula, we're because we determined this these three rows are two weeks, then it jumped another two weeks, about 15 days, and then it jumped from 15 days to May. This is his present. The most recent is about four months. So I would I would say about four months to here, and then perhaps another four months to here, give or take a couple of months in between, because this is supposed to cover 12 completely. Um, I would say as this investigation moves forward this way, if we're looking at this as a timeline and it moves from left to right, four months, give or take a little more on either end, because remember, we're working with two columns for an entire year. It comes out here about how these people were consulted to travel. After that comes out, then it's like you you know where the financial agreements came from, who backed it. Now, this is where it gets weird. There is finances, it's power, it's um, it's your food. Um, to describe a thing, it would be a very large, heavy set person, a manager. Um, let me see, let me think, 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 let me think. Okay. So this is power. This is finance, food and strength. Okay. Um, mm, this is not typically a person. This is not a person. This is a person. This is King of Diamonds. Okay, let me back it up. Let me see if I can go this way. Okay, because this column here is saying that there's news of the financial burden, but it shows how it was resolved and the financial links to members of the house. Because ring goes back to house, house sits on ring, and ring sits on moon. Moon is your reputation and how you're seen, your honors, your fame. It sits on key. Key sits on whip, a very significant fight. Whip is um, jack of clubs. So this could be a person. Jack of clubs sits on fox. The FBI finds out. But it takes them a while. It doesn't take... It's not immediate. Um, then it goes back to bouquet. Bouquet is a gift. It's um, let me follow this chain around. One second, please, because I'm getting lost. Um, good luck with that one, Polly Wanda. What's going to happen in two weeks when nothing happens? What what are they gonna what are they gonna throw a fit about and destroy next is my question. Okay, so we have fifteen to twenty four. Hold on to thirty one. Twelve. Five. Twenty one. Thirty-four, thirty-four, 
34, 15. Okay, let me pull that line so I can look at it. 15. 24. 31. And it goes to birds. Birds, birds, birds. Birds. Oh, I passed it. Birds, okay. Tree. Mountain. Mountain, mountain, mountain. 21, 21, Mountain. 34. 34, 23. Hope I'm not boring anybody while I'm trying to pull this. Twenty-three. Okay. Thirty-five. Okay, 35, 27, and then three. Okay. All right, this is this is the chain around bear from beginning to end. Let's see if I can fit it all in here. Okay. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, I got eleven. Okay, so okay. Mm, mm, mm. And we're looking at the financing and who financed the travel. Here's the travel. And it goes from bear, it goes from ship back to bear. Am I looking at this correctly? Because this line here in the tableau says that the resources were very, very difficult. They didn't have it. That getting the resources was going to be very painful. But here it shows a solution, how it was resolved. Hold on. How it was resolved. Like a, some sort of a very difficult financial contract. News of a very, very difficult financial contract. Fines, too. Um, Let me see here. Because this is like news of financial difficulties. The news of financial difficulties here. 
in the news of very, 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 very heavy responsibilities, but it's, since Fish is here, I'm thinking, financial difficulties ahead, okay, okay, but it's like a financial contract too. Give me a second. Let me think about this for a second. News of financial difficulties, but there's kind of like a contract here, financial contract, news of a difficult financial contract. <sighs> news of a very painful um, news, painful news of a very painful, powerful partnership. Does that make sense? At all? Oh, thank you, Diane. <laughs> oh, thank you. I, I, I love that. This is like one of my favorite desk, decks. <laughs> um, oh, thank you so much, Mother Earth Tarot. Just block him from the channel if he comes back on. Marie, have you, um, um, Mother Earth got him. Oh, they are very pretty, very clear images and easy to read, too. So it's, it's, do you want me to repeat, Jean? It's like news of very difficult financial responsibilities and a very difficult link to power. Um, so it's like, like news. Of how news or feedback. Um, that um, news or feedback that okay, hold on. News or feedback that there's serious financial burdens, but those financial burdens are also linked to your link to a powerful partnership. Does that make sense? Um, where did the money come from for the travel? Where did the financing come from, from the travel? Well, I can go up here. Financial hardship this way. This way, it's saying that the journey, the financing from the for the journey came. From here, from Scythe, okay. Scythe is king, or 
jack of diamonds, but it sits on clouds, which is six of clubs. It came from a man. It came from a man. A person. Hold on. Renee, no, it's not coming from an organization because Garden is way over here. They're not close in proximity. A financial institution isn't supported here either. But what is between him, which is, um, uh, what's his face, um, Jordan, and bear is fish, which, which is king of diamonds. This is someone that's a business person and also consulting. Consulting where? Overseas. This person sits on mice. Thief. Um... Or problems with the law. Let me see. Hold on. Give me a second. Because mice is a thief. Mice is someone corrupted. Um, mice is stress. It's theft. It's loss. It's deterioration. Something that gets eaten away. But it's also crim criminality and, and thieving. But this person consults. And then this is finance. Fish knights here to tower. And it's got ship over its head. Okay, so I'm wondering... I'm one, this is because what sits between here and here is some sort of person that does consulting overseas. And this person is in trouble for like, this person's a thief. They took something away from this person or this person is losing something. Um... Okay. And then this line. See, this line. Okay, where did the money come from? The desire to fund this thing. Sorry, let me put this this way. The desire to fund this thing was very optimistic. There was a meeting here with birds. There was a meeting in regards to a growing problem or a growing enemy the consultant is nervous and anxious about how they achieved the results for the transition i'm thinking it's a consultant someone that had consulting overseas this person is right now um they may be losing freedom because fish has to do with independence um Fish has independence. Um, they're free to do whatever they want, but here it shows them losing. Their, their freedom is getting lost, and it's a persistent loss here. 
Does that make sense? And this right here could be considered, if I were to take both of these cards and put them together, um, I would consider this like a passport. Okay, because it's paperwork to travel, but this person has lost freedom. So it's looking like this person may not be able to travel. And then if I follow this person up, he's got travel up here, but he's got scythe right here. Cannot travel. And this person also has a shit ton of finances. A crap ton. This is like money you keep in your pocket. This is like resources and assets. I'm thinking someone that may have helped fund this thing is whoever this person was that was doing consulting work overseas. But this person is losing freedom and he's um, they're taking something away from him. Oh, Barrick? Well... We should follow this around because Barrick just got busted for being a foreign agent, right? Well, here's ship. That's foreign, far away, trip, travel, transfer, journey, vacation, go far away. Let Hold on. Let me follow this fish around. And I'm reading this as if this were a person because this is king of, of, of um, diamonds. Okay, so hold on. Give me one second. So it goes 34, 23, 35, right? 35 to 27 to 3. 15, 24, 31, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, 5, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 34. Okay, that's that's where the chain ends. Okay. All right, so... It goes this way. Let's see. Fish, mice, anchor, letter, ship, bear, heart, sun. Oh my gosh, it's the reverse of the last one that we just did. It's the reverse. This this line here, when I follow the, sh the, the fish around, it's the reverse of bear. It's the reverse of bear. It is the reverse of bear. Huh. That is so, that is interesting. That is, it. Diana, let me show you. Hold on, let me get another deck. Let me get another deck. And I'll show you exactly why that just tripped me out. I've never seen that happen before, ever. Okay, so this is the chain fish, okay? I hope you can see that. Let me pull the chain for bear. I see bear, 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 bear. Bear. Bear and mice, mice, anchor, anchor. Oh, I'm sorry. No, bear heart sun, bear heart sun, bear heart sun. Bear heart sun birds 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 
tree. Tree, 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 mountain. Fish, mice, anchor, letter, 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 and then ship. Okay, let me see if I can get this in frame. I'm sorry, I don't have a bunch of extra tiles to try to show you. But see, here's bear and bear up here. What follows bear? Heart. What follows heart? Sun. What follows sun? Birds. Tree. Mountain. Then it goes to fish. Mice. Anchor. Letter. And ship. That when I follow the bear around, it links back here. It, it's a loop. It loops around. Does that make sense? What the? F mm. Hmm. Okay. So. This one is saying that independence has been lost. Persistent or achieving the results of the transfer of power was desired, was a very passionately desired, very uh, heated desire and a hot topic of conversation at a meeting. And there's growing problems and growing issues. Another way to interpret this, um, independence, losing independence, um, or a consultant that was corrupt. They were persistent with results abroad for finance. A desire for successful negotiations growing problems, deeply rooted problems. Um, also here with mountain, that's enemy. Let me do it this way. Let me see if I can mirror. Hold on. This is a person that traveled abroad or was traveling, but cannot anymore. If I do the mirrors, Consulting was secured abroad. This is kind of like packing up and moving. Um, for a desired meeting that, um, or a desired, uh, they were desiring this meeting or this negotiation for a delay, to delay, to block something. But it's looking like, it was some sort of consultant with loads of money, loads of money. If I just, um, not just by following the chains, but by looking at, looking at it here. Mm, 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 mm. That would be wild if, if this person here, this consultant could have also been some sort of manager with Bear sitting next to him. With Bear sitting next to him.
he's a billionaire. Well, that's loads of money. That's having access to an incredible amount of resources. But this the resources here become painful because of a financial contract and a very troublesome partnership this way. So, but this person traveled. But how, because this sits ahead, I don't know when that guy is supposed to go to court or how much the FBI has or what more will be released. Or if the FBI consults or speaks to the, the special committee or that's something that they have to subpoena the Department of Justice, whatever it is. I mean, it sounds crazy, but like at this point with this amount of corruption, I would not be surprised. It wouldn't shock me. I mean, it would kind of shock me, but it wouldn't shock me, you know? What's Gene saying? He was told no more back transfers without permission. What? Oh, hold on. Renee is saying this reads, hold on, Renee, I'm trying to read. This reads like items in Tom Barak's indictment, consulting overseas, biplanes and boats, grounded so he can't leave the U.S. passports taken away. Yeah, because it's like, Renee, that's, that's effing crazy. He was arrested as a foreign agent. Damn. Damn. What's back transfers, Diana? I'm not understanding that. Oh, a judge told him no money transfers. Well, yeah, because here it's like there's a financial burden because of his link to power or some sort of partnership that he had with power of some sort. If I follow the, the line this way, the, that power and financing is foreign. Here, no bank transfers. Oh, okay, thank you, Diana. I'm sorry, I, I, I was understanding it wrong. I thought you said no back transfers. I'm like, what was he transferring, you know? Part of his bail terms. Okay, thank you, Diana. Dude, that would be effing wild. That would be wild. That would be wild. Because here's the thing. This person was consulting. Okay. Letter lands on ship. The results of travel the results of the transfer passports okay if you look at this line of influence here there's something here with saudi arabia and it regards what there's sun sits on birds some sort of negotiation around energy. This is lineage, your family tree that is royal. When these two come close, very, 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 very close together, I tend to read this as the Saudis and Lily's Knights here and Ship Knights here. So there may have been some sort of correspondence and meetings about how to be very successful with the Saudis. So, and, and it says here, the man, the, the financing came from this man that travels loads of money. The money is foreign from a dangerous place. They may have weapons here. This is weapons. These two together are weapons.
Damn. You know what's funny too? Mountain sits on house fish. Mountain sits on fish. Literally, if I'm reading, well, yeah, it could be a literal mountain or it could be an area that's kind of like a mountainous resort where this person may reside or may live. Freaking hell. The feds also busted his... Who's his 27-year-old buddy, Diana? He lives in Aspen? Well, it's saying that he's kind of like... He's he's blocked somewhere, quite possibly somewhere where there's lots of mountains. Um, trees here, close by. Um, but this person has access to a lot of money. Also, also, this person here is what's going to drive homeboy. It's going to be prolonged stress and anxiety for him because of this person. Also, storks lands on cross, flipping, and then the guilt comes here. So it's almost like he's sitting on pins and needles until this person, because this person is causing him a lot of stress. Not just him, but this person is causing a lot of stress to the many that were involved in this conspiracy. And so the many that are involved, that entourage that are involved, are significantly nervous, quite possibly, about what hap the results of what happens to this guy. Because... He lands on crossroads and he's got um, storks, which lands on cross and he's got all this on his mind. And if you read this, what is on his mind, remember um, the closer something is on the grand tableau, the more immediate. Okay. Okay. So right here, the most immediate thing on his mind, someone undercover, self-serving, that took an opportunity, that gave him access for the successful, for a successful government. This person is fighting in court because they traveled somewhere and did something and got caught and now they're guilty. So it's almost like he's angry. Um, there's weapons over his head he's, that he's thinking about and the, the peanut butter people. But it's almost like he's also very, very worried and he will be significantly worried for a very long time about what happens to this person. Because if this person has cross right over their head, look at what lands on cross flip. So, damn, 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 damn. Was it all worth the Presidential Medal of Freedom, you jazz? You know, I mean, damn, dude, damn, damn. If that's, you know, for entertainment pur purposes only, but if that's how this shit shakes out, Holy hell. Holy hell. Let's see. Dang.
and it's like news of very painful suffering because of his link to a very problematic, powerful partnership of some sort. Now, line of fate. Mm -mm. I got it up right here, um, Carol. Um, let me see here. Let me think about this for a second. I'm debating something inside of my head. Debating something inside of my head. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, my back. I really need to work on my posture. I'm just going to walk around with like a board taped to myself. <laughs> so it just keeps me straight. Um, See out. Ah, hold on, I'm stretching my neck. Um so I'm gonna just put it this way. Um, there's some serious emotional blockages and serious, serious, serious prolonged stress that's got homeboy shit in his pants and um he is very worried about some sort of change and what i mean by some sort of of change um it's kind of like worried about a flip he's very anxious nervous about a change do you see what I'm saying? Um, where's this going to go? Where's it going to go next? Is homeboy going to flip? Because this card here sits on, on um, what do you call it? Um, sits on mice. Um, I'm wondering if I should follow moon around because your moon the moon is your recognition, it's your fame, it's your honors, your creativity, your emotions. But in this sense, because it falls, let me see, because of where it falls, um, it's kind of like I'm leaning more towards um, his honor. How, hold on, let me do, let me do moon. Un momento, por favor. Oh, Karen, they all have to be effing freaked out. They all have to be freaked out. And this woman here is a problem. Now they're all scrambling, like, how the, how the F do we get rid of her? They can't expel her because that would take two-thirds majority vote. So they may try to get the RNC to kick her out of the Republican Party, but that's okay. She can just as easily go independent. You know, they're... I, mm, Mm -mm. I hope it was all worth it for a medal of freedom, you piece of shit. I hope it was all worth it. Sell out your own country to a fucking traitor for a medal of honor. Which is going to be shit when they find out how you got it. And when it all comes to light, how you got it. You see, key is on whip. Whip is on fox. Fox, <laughs> Fox is on bouquet. Oh Lord Jesus, uh, bouquet, bouquet is on man. Man is on crossroads. Crossroads, crossroads, crossroads. That's on clover. Clover on scythe. 
Scythe on Clouds. Clouds on Garden. Brighter. Coffin. Storks. Dear God. Cross. Stars. House. Ring. And then back to Moon. <laughs> Lord Jesus, have mercy. Okay, let's see. Moon. Okay, that's going to go there. Moon, 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 moon. Moon, key, whip. Fox. Bouquet. <laughs> Man, 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 crossroads, clover, scythe, clouds, oops, clouds, clouds, clouds. Garden. Writer. That's a long chain. Writer. Coffin. Storks. Cross. Stars. House. Ring. <laughs> okay, that's a very long chain. So. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Whatever he did, that shit's coming out in public. Okay, so his reputation, access here, or the answer, abuse, manipulative, covert, and then a gift to a man. So he was honored given an honor for him to be very important in arguing that something was fraudulent or manipulated and he was happy to comply here. He has a decision to make here, okay, in regards to some sort of an opportunity that... Um, is very dangerous and huge amounts of trouble, but it comes out to the public and also his decision to join in on this thing at, for the rally, his decision to join in for something dangerous that was um, dangerous that was very chaotic and bad for the public. This could be the rally. Also um, something that... Um, God, I'm sorry, I'm struggling with words. Um, kind of like... To guide the public. Here. But the way this is going... It says that he's looking for options and choices and he don't see a way around this thing with these right here. He's looking for op options and choices and opportunities, but he's out of luck here. Having another stroke of luck is uncertain. It's doubtful. Um, 
He's got Fox behind him being very conniving. He, he, he may see himself back here. He may see himself as someone that's very talented in being conniving, slippery, hard to get a hold of, um, smart, street smart, um, and a fighter here. He knows he has a reputation and a talent for being this back here. Um, but now he doesn't see how the hell he's going to get out of this one this way. He's looking for roads out of it by gaslighting the public, but it's like, your luck is out, buddy. You're, you're, you having a stroke of luck of this working good luck because that outcome is extremely uncertain. You can try to gaslight the public, but people ain't buying it. Okay. Um, let me see here. Give me one second. Um, I'm looking something up. Also, with just this little piece here, he was honored to be um, kind of really important with Key, an important honor, important career, to have a job, if I read Fox as work, employment, to have a job fighting for something, he was happy to do it. He was happy to comply with the whole manipulation and the fraud and take it on as a job with Fox here. He's looking at options and choices, but, you know, he's thinking the best way forward is going to be to gaslight the public and deliver that news this way. That comes to an end. No, sir. No, sir. If these are his options and choices, it reaches a conclusion of an ending here then that chain, this is going to be very difficult for him to get out of. I'm talking difficult. This is an ending, but it's followed here with storks, some sort of resurrection. But that resurrection becomes very, 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 very painful. Um, there may be some sort of a sacrifice you may need to flip and sacrifice and put the spotlight on other people in the entourage that were committed. Also, this causes enormous pressure, pain and suffering for his family. If he's married, it causes pain and suffering for his family because it's here. Um, difficult, very painful changes, burdens. And then this is him becoming a celebrity in the entourage or in the house, but then also very painful and difficult burdens for his family to resolve marriage here. Um, damn. Damn. So... Let me see if I can. Oh, I know Mother Earth. She knows everything. It's going to come down to getting the proof. Getting the rock solid proof. Because you have letter up here. And letter sits on ship. Where's ship? Hold on. Letter sits on ship. 
for the time frame that is set here, I see him fighting. If he has to go to speak, the, I see it being enforced. He may fight, 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 and try to delay, 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 delay. But it doesn't happen. It's like if he does that, there, he's there's a very high likelihood that someone comes over and says, hey, you're going, you know, because um, law is over his head. He has no choice. Here, it's saying he doesn't have a choice. He doesn't have a, he does not have a choice this way. His decisions to try to find a little bit of luck, it's cut off and it causes problems. And then there's the committee or a large group of people here. You know, I don't know if these hearings are going to be public. I'm assuming they are the, the, the police were public. But his visit, he does, it's like he doesn't want to show up. His visit, if this is a visitor, he doesn't want to show up. Does that make sense? So what happens is, was letter in here? No, letter wasn't in here. Was it? Hold on. 27? No, letter wasn't in there. Okay. So by him not coming to visit, meaning he doesn't show up, that changes everything and brings on suffering here. And it becomes a resolution for the house this way. Oh, thank you. 1111, make a wish. Of course not, Jean. None of them are. And up here, I don't know when you came in, but it was saying he doesn't talk. And if he talks, it's five. He speaks of five. So perhaps pleading the fifth after he's very cutting and sharp and abusive with his language. So they're going to have to come and get him. And this could be a visitor here, a visitor that's very, that enforces things. There's a sense of responsibility here. This person is very powerful, but they have authority and they're committed to, um, that that's part of their career. It's what they do. Okay, so he might be getting a little visitor this way within this time frame here in these last two columns. Yeah, he can be, the sergeant at arms can be escorted because it's like, he thinks he can smart his way out of this. But here when he starts looking at choices, it's like, there's nothing here that says that he's doing this to be combative because that combativeness and that competition sits behind him, the fighting with the whip. So if I look at him moving forward, he's starting to look at this and go, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Well, I just won't go. And I'll try to gaslight the public and make this into a political thing. Because this right here, partisan crossroads, partisan hack. He'll try to spin this. He'll take a chance to spin this as a partisan hack with crossroads and scythe right here, partisan hack, to gaslight the public for why he's not visiting. He doesn't visit and it gets resurrected and there's charges and guilt here. And then he tries to become a show and a, and a celebrity for the entourage as a solution. That's not going to fix your problem, buddy. Because what this is saying as well, storks lands on house cross. He's only increasing and elevating his problems and his suffering. Cross sits close to him, not exactly close, super close, but it's close to him. And the card that's immediately touching it is bare. It's going to be some serious, heavy burdens, very powerful burdens, um, very powerful. Um, um, there's going to be a crap ton of grief and suffering if he tries to play that game, which he will. He will. Um, the This spread says partisan hack. He's going to play it as a partisan hack. That's his strategy with these three. Man, partisan, 
joke hack this way. Okay. But y'all have fun shit in your pants because this truth is going to come out one way or the other. And if this is, um, if this is the person that helped fund this thing, and this person is the consultant that has, um, that is nervous, that is very anxious right now, that has lost freedom. Um, wait till that shit hits the fan because it looks like this person is making him very worried and adding to his long-term worry. Because if this is that Barrett guy and he doesn't want to talk and they have him, how many counts do they have him on you guys? Do, does anybody know Tom Barrett? Seven, seven counts, seven counts, huh? I don't know what that translates to in terms of how much time he's looking at, but you know, he's a very wealthy man. Um, and as we've all seen in the justice system, wealthy, super wealthy white men can do whatever the hell they want and just basically get a slap on the wrist. Um, because the justice system send, tends to be a little bit more lenient for first-time offenders of white-collared crime while slamming regular folk in jail for like 15 life term sentences. And he's an old man, exactly, Linda. First-time offender, old man, super rich billionaire. I know Glenn Kirshner said 50 years. But that's not a certainty because his trial has not begun. He just went in and pleaded not guilty. So from there, his trial begins. So this man here would be a fool. I mean, even if this guy gets four or five years, which I think would be extreme, if you give that son of a bitch, four to five years, you better let out every nonviolent criminal offender out of jail right now. You know? So, um, and even these super rich, ultra wealthy people, they don't go to state pen. They don't go to federal pen, do they? Like, what did they do to, well, the only reason Bernie Madoff got hammered the way he hammered that the way that they hammered him was because he ripped off other super, 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 super wealthy people, you know? Seven counts for failing to register as a lobbyist of the UAE, obstruction of justice, and lying to investigators. Well, if homeboy flips when they squeeze his balls, and <laughs> Lord Jesus. Lord, have all the mercies. Prosecute spies. I know. But see, here's the thing. Didn't they get Maria Butina for sort of like the same thing, unregistered foreign agent, and she only got a few months in prison? The difference was, the di I understand the difference between Maria Butina case and this guy's case is that Maria Butina was trying to infiltrate and didn't have as much influence with her operation as Barrick did because Barrick actually got the words of the UAE into a presidential speech. You know, and I'm sure if these people back here start digging, they're going to find everything, everything, everything. If stuff was delivered for a campaign, um, if stuff was delivered for a rally, Trump org, all of it.
and exactly Marie, he's an American citizen and Butina wasn't, but, and it's also the scope of the influence that Butina had. Butina didn't have that much of a scope of influence, but from what public knowledge is, is that Barrick actually did have significant influence because he got speeches put, put in. Um, for Renee, yeah, there's, we were talking about that earlier here, that there was some sort of something that he may have been working on overseas that had to do with energy. If I look above it, that stars right there. Um, energy, he, this is Saudi Arabia. If I look above it, this is something that is technical energy um, that can, um, that has a wide um, metastasizing type of energy. So I, th this could also, in, in regards to that, and it mirrors here, which is weapon, and the negotiations that took place with the government here. So some sort of technology that had to do with energy that's used as a weapon. So nuclear stuff here with Saudi Arabia this way. So I don't know, Deb, let's ask. Let's ask, because according to this, he's got cross ahead of him and coming up. That would tell me that if he's not already, from this position that I can see, even though he's got all this stuff on his mind, there, he still has a sense that he can control the outcome of what Liz Cheney can find. Um, but he's got cross ahead and I could read this as a very painful, 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 ginormous regret, you know, let me see. So let me see, does Jim Jordan regret what he did for Donald Trump. Okay, no, does Jim Jordan regret being a Donald Trump stooge? Does Jim Jordan regret being a Donald Trump stooge? Does Jim Jordan regret being a Donald Trump stooge? Yep. That's a yes. That's a yes. Okie dokie. Let's ask this. Will Jim Jordan regret being Donald Trump stooge? Will he regret being a Donald Trump stooge? Will Jim Jordan regret being a Donald Trump stooge. That's a hell yes. <laughs> that's a hell yes. Like, <laughs> that's a hell yes. Mm -hmm. Should have thought about that when you signed up for the treason party, buddy. Ain't got a shred of freaking sympathy for you. At all. At all. At all. The chain of the cross. I'll stop. Okay, I'll do that one and then I'm gonna and then I'm gonna sign out because my brain is almost midnight. So let's see here. Goes cross stars house ring. Moon, key, eight, nine, ten, whip, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, fox, okay, man, twenty-four, twenty-three, twenty-two, crossroads, clover, eight, 
Scythe, Clouds, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, Garden, Rider, Coffin, 16, Storks, Cross. Oh, these maroons. Okay. House. Donde está la casa? House, house. Ring. Ring, ring, ring. Uh, moon and key. Moon. Key. Whip fox. Fox. Okay. Man, crossroads, clover, clover scythe, clouds. Garden, writer, coffin, and then storks. Mm -mm -mm. Is going to be under quite a bit of pressure. It's gonna be quite burdensome on his celebrity standing. Oh, thank you, Mac. Um, on his celebrity standing within the uh, little entourage and the people that were. Um, part of that entourage, the people that had a membership to that entourage, I'll just put it that way, um, because they're going to be recognized as being key here um, to um, a very critical investigation. And some sort of invitation or a gift that was given to him, perhaps some sort of bribery. He's going to operate as a political hack to gaslight the public because he's out of options and choices here. This is just bad. This is bad. Um, his choices, his options, his alternatives, it's like his luck is put done. Um, he may not go to this committee, but then there's mail that comes for him. Oh, that's not, that doesn't go there. Hold on. Hold on. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. There's not mail that comes for him. It's, it's kind of like, um, sorry. I'm like thinking here, like, overcoming this really bad thing or resurrecting he he'll he'll because he operates as a political hack there may be something that he tries to resurrect um because it the coffin is followed by storks so 
so this is almost like some sort of a resurrection and it, but it's because he operates as a political hack. Um, if this is a committee that they tried to form here, if this is like the committee that only the GOP tries to form to spin this thing, it, it just falls flat on its face and it causes him more problems because it's trying to resurrect something and change something that caused death or change something that um, was a loss. But it's not a little loss like mice that mice kind of nibble away. No, this is a very bad, 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 bad loss. Like think death sort of loss. Not saying that he's going to die or that he's suicidal or anything like that. I never said that. Um, but also um, this right here um, could another way to interpret this is that there's a lot of pain and suffering and grief within those members of this entourage that could become key witnesses here and key celebrities. And they're really fighting to manipulate things for their advantage. Um, operating as a political hack, no options, no options, perhaps not wanting to go visit, but then not wanting to go visit brings about an even more negative change for him. Um, so it's kind of like, if I look at, this right here, what's closest to him, a very important fight that he's going to have to be very smart about or that he's trying to manipulate his way out of um, to his own satisfaction, but he's not, he doesn't have options and choices left. So he's going to try to rely on his wits because he thinks he's he he's a person that sees himself as being very, very witty, very, very smart, and very, very talented in manipulating and spin. That's not going to give him a win here. It brings more problems and endings this way. He's going to see this as a joke. He may per, The performance may be to make a big joke and gaslight, but it's almost like this is his last option and it's not even an option. Based on this, it's man, choices, options for opportunities, cut off there. And his opportunities are cut off and also uncertain. Directionality here, clouds. This is not a good position for clouds, but it the sun is moving this way. Whatever he's been covering up and gaslighting, gets to the public whatever they tried to make up here as an option an alternative for a win is to operate as a political hack here and gaslight the public or use the committee to gaslight and to make that what the news is saying because writer is news what the news is saying it just brings it just, I'm at the point where I'm just like, dude, send these stupid sons of bitches a shovel. Actually, send them a caterpillar because they'll dig their own graves a lot faster. So um, that's what I got. Um, tomorrow we will be live on my channel with Jen Lynn and Johnny. Um, please, um, see the community post on Johnny's channel, my channel, and Jen Lin's channel um, to post your questions for the Sunday night live stream. Um, we've been on for quite a bit, quite, 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 quite a bit. Um, thanks for hanging in there, you guys. This is almost four hours. <laughs> I'm tired. It's almost midnight. And I'm going to go to bed. So <laughs> thank you, everybody, for hanging out. Thank you, everybody, for all the super chats. Um, I hope you had a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for spending it, with, with, spending it with me. And I will see you all, people, mañana. Good night, everybody. Have a good one. Bye.